Hey guys, Blood Moon Bobby. Oh, hey guys! Yes, we're here at the Star vs. the Forces of Evil Gallery Nucleus event, and we're about to check it out. So, all right, I'll start off with um, the first question for you guys here. Um, what inspired you guys to do the show? Oh, yeah, is it, on? is it on? Hello, hello, testing. It's working great. Okay, so um, so the show was inspired by just so many things that I wanted to see when I was a kid. You know, I try, I wanted to make a show that like encompassed all the things I loved. You know, things like Sailor Moon and Unico and you know all these fun things. And you know, uh, then then I started pitching it, and the process started. And then one one of the things that's been so amazing about making the show is getting to make it with other people because animation is really collaborative. Um, and here is Dominic, who is our supervising producer who works on the show. What's what's like your favorite thing about the show? Uh, oh gosh. <laughs> Uh, I love I love working on the show because I get to write and draw, um, and Darren gave me the opportunity, and uh, I love uh, making the show that she's been wanting to make for d uh, decades. Yeah. So yeah, that's and then, fun. And then Amber, Amber came along to help us with our books. She wrote in, in, in the Star and Marcos Guidebook and in the Magic Book of Spells, and has been a really really awesome collaborator. Aw, I had so much fun working with you guys, but I totally forgot about Unico until you said that. I was like. Unico, I gotta go watch that again. I think I saw that when I was like ten. Yes. It's one of my yeah. people, people at the beginning. I haven't done it in a while, but a lot of but at the beginning of the show, when new people started, I made them watch Unico. Yeah. Yeah. I was it. like, but this I is heard, very I important. I, I remember watching it on Nickelodeon. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, cool. And are you surprised that Star has grew this big fan base? You know, yeah. I mean, it's always just, it's unbelievable that people, you know, are connecting to it and, and liking the show. And it's its probably been like the coolest thing of my life that it has gotten this, all these people that love it. I don't know. It's been really special. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't know that I'm surprised because I think Star is really cool. But um, people's reactions to it and people connecting with it in cool ways and Blood Moon Bobby w wearing a, a costume that I drew uh, so five years ago or whatever that uh, warms my heart so it's cool to see the those kinds of reactions <laughs> I just think it's a really smart show and that you guys don't talk down to anybody like that show is for everybody um, it's just it's just really smart and I think we need more smart empathetic compassionate shows where it's about treating people with respect and love and not just beating each other up. And I just, I love that I get to be a part of that world. And I have one more question for you guys. Do you guys have a favorite starship? Oh, a favorite ship? Yeah. Oh, you know, I can't answer that. <laughs> you're being, you're being tricky now, but yeah, I don't think, I don't think I can answer that. I think you could probably answer that. A favorite ship? A ship. Yeah, who do you, who do you oh, uh, my ship is a love triangle, and it's Gemini, Hanus, and Rastacor. That is the most pure assault. It is. Yeah. That, that, that's the, yeah, that's yeah. a little frightening. Yeah. Um, oh, gosh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. There's so many possible. I feel like we should dig into the book a little bit, and one of, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we can, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. There are yeah. a lot of good. It, it is tough. I kind of feel like maybe, maybe Derinia and like uh, and and Glosseric. Oh, and Ch yeah. yeah. Oh, I like Ch that. Derinia. <laughs> I do love Emily and Crescenta from the book. I'll throw that out there. Yeah. And okay, I swear this is my last question for you guys. What is it, like? What can we expect in season four? Ooh, okay. Um, again, I, I don't want to. I certainly don't want to ruin anything for anybody. I'm gonna say though. You know, lots of fun and adventures, a lot of Eclipsa, a lot of surprises. Um, I think everyone's going to really enjoy it. Anything yeah. you want to add? Um, <laughs> pie. Oh. Double pie. Double pie. Mysterious All right. pie. All right, there you go. All right, sweet. Thank you, thank you guys. We're so excited to be here. We're very happy to, to see you guys. And, yeah, we can't wait for a season four. I know people watching my show definitely can't wait either so yeah thank you thank you hey guys thanks for watching this episode of the butterfly show 
Please subscribe to the Blood Moon Bobby YouTube channel. Remember to hit the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, share it, and follow Blood Moon Bobby on social media to hear the latest about our thoughts on Star vs. the Forces of Evil. See you next time.